What's up, guys? Um, for those of you who don't know, I've taken a new job, and today is my last day in the refinery. A um, little torn on how, to, how I feel about that. <laughs> been here for 20 years. It's been my security. It's fed my family, taken well care of us. Um, but I've been uh, kind of helping and consulting over in Houston at our corporate office with a, a project and a job opened up so I took it and uh, I know a lot of people don't know about this um, yeah, we've told people but you know it's not like I've posted it on Facebook or anything like that so I uh, just wanted to throw an explanation out there it's not uh, I'm not <clears throat> quitting I'm not being fired uh, it's just it's a great opportunity in a different environment, a different type job. I'm not going to another refinery. I'm going to the downtown corporate office on a special project. Um, I'm, I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know. You know, it might be might be five years. I may be looking for something else. Um, but regardless, uh, my whole family's moving. We're all moving from Loosedale and going somewhere in Houston. Uh, at first, I'm gonna go over and live in a, an RV park and let Sarah graduate from George County. Um, and then uh, once that happens, then we'll, we'll move, everybody will move together. But yeah, it's weird. Last drive in um, kind of hit me yesterday, you know, the, the reality of, of uh, it's my last day. And I mean, even if I come here to, to visit, you know, as part of the project that I'll be on, uh, I'll be a visitor. I won't be an employee. It's different. It's just different. Um, I can really relate right now to those of you who are uh, retiring. You know, you've been with these guys in this place for so long. I mean, literally, there are guys that are in this refinery right now that I've known for, I've worked with for 20 years, 20 plus years. Uh, and I'm and, and proud to have worked with you. It's been a, it's been an honor and a privilege, but I'm a little sentimental over the idea. It kind of chokes me up every now and then to think about it. Cause I mean, it's like walking away from a group of friends, you know? Oh, uh, it, it, it is different, it's definitely different. But um, the positive side to all this, um, it's all positive really, but it's just, it's tough. Moving the family, is not an easy thing and moving from your home is not an easy thing um, the the good part with my wife is that she's not actually from where we live she's from Louisiana uh, so she's already done this I haven't so it's actually new to me probably t this is probably gonna be tougher on me than it is on her uh, but uh, So some really positive sides to all this are, if you follow me and you know me personally, you know the medical issues, medical problems we deal with. Um, we will be, <clears throat> instead of trying to make a, a, a trek to Houston once a year to stay for seven, 10 days or whatever, and um, juggling out my family of who's gonna get scans and who's gonna get what done, uh, we're gonna be living right there, so those things will now become just a, a standard doctor's visit, and we won't have to look for doctors anymore, uh, which is an amazing thing. Because I mean, they have my my my, my wife and both my daughters have uh, have this disease, genetic disorder, that uh, it's not gonna go away. And uh, MD Anderson is the one of the main places, if not the main place, in the United States with the expertise on this rare genetic disease. So, any treatments we ever need, anything like that, I mean, it'll be just a doctor's visit or we'll be right there. So that's, that's a, to me, that makes it worthwhile. So uh, I applied for this job, I got this job, I've been traveling back and forth to Houston. Uh, any of you who know me well enough, uh, all year, uh, if not a little over a year, just for a week, two weeks at a time, 
I've got to know these guys over there. Uh, I, I feel like I can do a good job for them. They feel like I can do a good job for them. Apparently, they hired me. Uh, this is a job I applied for. I wasn't forced into it. Uh, anything like that. I know there's going to be, you know, there's a rumor mill. There's always rumor mill around the, around work. Uh, yeah, they, they made a spot, but no, it was nothing like that. I mean, a spot open, I applied for it. I was the prime candidate for it, so uh, we took it. Uh, and I, if there's any doubt in your mind, I didn't just take this on my own account and my own accord. I talked this over with my wife. We have discussed this. As tough as it is to move, uh, we still had a lot of conversations, a lot of prayer, a lot of thought went into this, working things out. Uh, Chevron has a great relocation program, and uh, I'm going to get to take take advantage of that. I say take advantage of it. It's gonna it's gonna really make it a simple process for us. Uh, we have complicated it because we're not moving immediately, but you know that's all good. Well, it'll work out. Uh, the main thing I wanted to post this out was just to, to let some folks know we're moving. Hmm. After the first of the year, I'll be kind of back and forth traveling, um, working. So, and we'll do that until we go. Any anything that I have, uh, anything that I have told you that I would do for you, if I haven't talked to you in the last few months, uh, please take uh, accept my apology. It's all out out the window now. Um, I, I'm not playing music right now. Uh, I'm not able to. I've disconnected from everything, or tried to best I can. So anyway, fixing to walk in for my last time. Ooh. Just like that, I'm done here. Um, it's my last day at. The Chevron Pascagoula Refinery. Uh, appreciate all the kind words today from anybody watching. I'm definitely going to miss.